Hello everyone, my name is Danny. In today's video, we're going to talk about uh, Ichimoku. Ichimoku is called as a king of the indicator. It's really important to understand what's a Ichimoku cloud. If you didn't understand it before, in this video, I'm going to go into the details and show you a step by a step how to use it as a professional. Let's get it started. We're going to go in for the indicator trading view and uh, going for the indicator part and search for the Ichi Moko Cloud. Apply on the chart. And uh, when you apply on the chart, we have a very messy indicator on the chart and uh, pretty much not understandable at all. That we are doing, we're gonna go in for the details and show you how to use the Ichimoku and explain you what's the in there. Ichimoku cloud is kind of the moving averages. All of the number in the input based on the 26 period and the 52 and the 26, the period of the moving averages. We're going to go in for the style first and uh, we turn off the, all of the those things. We don't need it at all for now. As you can see here, the Ichimoku cloud is getting so simple now. The basic information that we're going to get it from there is a three rule. First rule, if price above the cloud and the cloud is it's gonna be turned into the red after sometimes if they're not very dumb on the market we're gonna go in for the red or if the above the cloud is gonna be cloud is gonna be green and uh, if the below the price, price below the like a cloud is going to be red. We have a red cloud. Basic information about the Ichimoku. When the Ichimoku cloud below the cloud, red cloud is going to be price is on the downtrend. And if the break above the Ichimoku cloud is going to be we are on the uptrend. It's pretty obvious, but we don't use it under that way. We're going to go in for the different example, how to use those one, how to use it as a professional. We're going to go in for the daily time frame. We start and we are on the Bitcoin time, a uh, Bitcoin chart, USDT. And uh, we're going to go in for the setting and uh, we turn on the conversion line on the chart. Conversion line, they show us one thing. When the price above the conversion line, I'm going to a little bit zoom in to the chart. And they show you when the price above the conversion line is kind of the uptrend and the price is below the it, a conversion line is kind of the downtrend. But we don't, that is kind of the we don't use it in that way. We're gonna get a more confirmation on the, this one before using it. This is kind of the pretty much unuseful for us. Just just only one line in here. One of the most important thing that I'm gonna tell you about the conversion line is working as a support and resistant for the price when the price is reached to the conversion line is worked as a 
support line and the other way is the same too we kind of have a resistance for the those one two when the price break reach to the conversion line is working as a resistance but we're gonna going one more step ahead we're gonna going for the setting and the turn on the baseline as well the baseline on the ichimoku is show us something that is kind of the com uh, call uh, kind of the uh confirmation for the conversion line when the prime when the conversion line break above the baseline that is show us one thing that is show us the we change it potentially we change a trend and uh, break below the conversion line break below the baseline is called as a change a trend too as much as you can see here when the pry when the conversion line break a below the baseline that is give us the confirmation for downtrend and uh, we have a, another thing we're gonna go in for this one we're gonna go in for the above the this one conversion line break above the baseline that is change the direction of the trend too one more thing that i'm gonna tell you about this one about the cloud we not use the any of the line when the price inside the cloud because when the price inside the cloud market is ranging and the uh, ichimoku is not exception like all of the indicator on the range market is called kind of the use unuseful for the market we're gonna go in for the one more step ahead and uh we're gonna go in for the setting and uh we turn on the lagging span on the mark on the ichimoku club lagging span as you can see here lagging span is really sensitive and the moving with the price exactly like a price if you can see here the price or now it's 23,000 the lagging span exactly 23,300 but how to use it we're gonna go in for the forward stay tuned for me I'm gonna go in for the one more step and I'll show you what's the leading span A and leading span B is leading span B the line is below and uh, above the Ichimoku cloud we're gonna go in for the some of the example for the short and line position based on the Ichimoku cloud only we have a four convert confirmation for the Ichimoku to use it as a indicator to give us the trigger of the entry and the trigger of the position uh, we're gonna go in for long position first condition need to candle close above the ichimoku club the second condition conversion line break and uh, above the baseline third condition leading leg in a span close above the ichimoku club third condition we must have a green cloth or if we, we don't have a green cloth the leading span a above the 
leading span B. That is four conditions need to be met to open the line position under this situation. We're gonna be open the po line position on here. And uh, we're gonna go in for the two times our risk. At least we're gonna play and uh, see what we're gonna get. As you can see here, we're gonna get our target. For the short position, we are on the four hours time frame in the Bitcoin. The first condition candle close below the clock. That is first condition we met, but lagging span is not closed below the cloth yet the second third condition conversion line break below the baseline and the fourth condition we have a break lagging span break below the lagging span b fourth condition is three of them is min met we don't have it. We need to wait for the next candle. We're gonna wait for the next candle. Is all of the condition is being met here. And they close the candle above, uh, below the, this one below the cloud and the lagging span break below the cloud as well. We're gonna be open the position on here as well. We're gonna go in for the short position and uh, open the short position and uh, two times our risk. And uh, we're gonna play what we're gonna get. As you can see, we reach our target. The next short example for the, this market, we are on the one hour time frame. The first condition candle closed below the cloud is being met. Second condition, the conversion line below the blue line or break below the blue line, that is our baseline. And the third condition is lagging span is not closed below the, the cloud yet. And the fourth condition, we have a leading span A break above, sorry, leading span B break above the leading span A. We need to wait another candle to get our condition being met. Next candle, still we not get a confirmation from the leading uh, lagging span and we need to wait for the next candle the next candle give us the confirmation the lead, lagging span close below the cloud we're gonna go in for the short position and uh, open the short position on here two times our risk and uh, we're gonna go and uh, see what we're gonna get. This our target is being reached risk to reward ratio 3 to 1. As all of the indicator, Ichimoku is not magic too. As you can see here, we have all of the, our condition is being met, but when you're going forward, we have a change. We are changing thing and uh, 
we're gonna going for the uh, hit our stop loss because as all of the indicator not magic but still you can use it as a signal too because when the direction of the lagging span and the conversion line and the baseline is going to the opposite you can close your position as well because that is that time is better to cut your loses like here they give us the signal to bend the long position under this example but our target is being not reached because gain is going for above the opposite of the art direction and uh, the change of trend it's better to close the position when the two of the condition at least been changed direction like a lagging span and the leading span or conversion line break below the baseline we need to close our position it's better to cut our losers that is for the basic thing about the Ichimoku. I hope so you use it. And that we, on the next part, I'm going to show you how to use it in advance, how to mix it with the price action. In the, this section, I'm going to tell you about the how to use it with the price action in we need to identify the key area of the resistance and the support on the chart under this example i'm going to go in for the bnb and they show you why you need this area for identify this area and use the ichimoku we identified the two area of the support and resistance for the bnb usdt and uh, on the, this example, we have a really good indicator from the Ichimoku. If we turn it on, the price, we, if we're going a little bit forward on the daily time frame, for example, if we're going a little bit forward, I just want to go to the, like a this example under this one ichimoku they didn't give us the signal yet because the leading span is not confirmed above the cloud but we have a one area of the resistance for the bnb as well we need to still we need to wait for the confirmation but when the lagging span coming above the Ichimoku cloud, we have a kind of the big resistance for the around the 331 for the BNB as well. Right? We not open the position on here as much as they give us the signal for the buy, for the open the long position under this example. We not open the any position because we have a big key area of the resistance above us under this example when they're going a little bit uh, next example as you can see here we have a when they confirm we reach to area of the resistance but this example we've been rejected from there and we need to still waiting for the next movement of the market that is this area is really important for us to identify key area of the resistance a lot of people use a dynamic and a lot of people use a static like me as much as you can use a static for the more convenient for you if you like and uh, dynamic like a moving averages and the EMA and some people use a view up for the lower time frame that is help you as well 
but you need to identify the key area of the resistance before you use it. Ichimoku. You not open the position line below the resistance. You need to wait for the confirmation and the break above the resistance. For the short position, exactly same. We not open the position below the resistance because high potentially we are gonna hit the stop loss. I hope so this video is useful for you and that you learned something. Thanks for watching. And I have a Discord channel. I'll leave a link in the description. If you like, you can uh, join to my server. Thank you so much and see you next time.